it's Katie from Little Miss Kate here and today we're talking about a Dyson vacuum. It's the DC78 turbine animal head vacuum and this is one powerful machine to help you clean your home. Um, there are several features that we're going to go over that make this Dyson vacuum a really special and great investment. Um, I know I've had owned a number of vacuums since I, you know, moved first moved out of my parents' house, and there's always been certain things about them that I didn't like, and so far I haven't found anything about this Dyson that I didn't um, I didn't like. Um, it comes with everything that you see here, so you get the the main base unit, um, the long extension cord with the extendable handle and it has all sorts of different head types and we're going to see how each one can be used in different situations. So let's see the features of this great vacuum. So one of the first things that I absolutely love about this uh, Dyson DC78 is it is a bagless vacuum. I've had a couple of vacuums that have needed bags but you either run out of them, um, you go to the store and they don't have them anymore, or even they discontinue making them. Um, so ever since that first experience, any other vacuum I owned have always been a bagless vacuum. So what that means is that this canister actually um, is what collects you know, the dust, the hair, whatever else you vacuum up, and that you can just empty it and you put it back on the cylinder again and you're ready to go. There's also no filters that need to be washed with this vacuum and that's something that makes it really, really unique because normally with the bagless vacuums, you still need to wash the filters um, and that's one of the key features that Dyson has upgraded on this model is that the filters no longer need to be washed. So let's look at a few of the other things that really make this vacuum um, a standout investment. Um, so with the handle, um, you're able to adjust the length on it really easily just by pressing this red button um, and sliding it out or in. So it doesn't matter who's using it or how far you need to reach in, it can really adjust to your needs. With all the, the different heads, they're really easy to pop on and off um, on the end. So you would literally just slide them on, you hear the little click, and then to take them off again, it's just press the button and slide it out. So it's really quick to change between the different heads. It also comes with a, cla um, a hook that's on the back that you could put some of these tools that you use most often uh, right on it, so to carry them around with you um, as you're vacuuming. So let's talk about the, the tools that actually come with it. So you have the um, iconic Dyson ball head. Um, so this is the brush that you would use. It's the bristle brush that you'd use most likely on carpets and that sort of thing. And it's got the ball technology that really allows you to easily turn um, turn the head to get into all the corners and underneath um, couches and all of that kind of thing. You also get the, the flat brush that um, is great for hardwood floors. We have mostly hardwood floors and tile in our house and so this gets a lot of use. The Dyson DC78 also comes with a soft bristle brush um, you know, to get into those corners. But the neat thing about this one is you're able to slide that piece back and just be able to really reach into corners. But if you need a brush to get a little more dirt, you can use that and slide it out. It also comes with a hard bristle brush for sometimes you need to, to use it on um, like tile and stuff like that to get up some more stuck on type things. And there are two really, um, I think, unique heads that come with this vacuum. So there is the tangle free turbine tool. So this actually has two um, brushes that spin on the bottom and um, a mechanism inside that doesn't let hair um, get caught up in it like a typical um, brush head would. So you could use this. I'm sure it would be helpful in the bathroom. I know that's where my hair always ends up. Um, and anywhere that you think on like on a couch or anything like that um, where you still want to get a vacuum clean but without getting tangled up within the hairs. Now what the namesake of the turbine head animal is this um, head tools. So what this is, is it is actually a pet brush. So you would attach this to your Dyson and then when you push the, um, push this down, the, you, the pet brush actually shows up. So it's got the thin, um, 
like needles of a pet brush and you'd be able to um, do this on your dog or if your cat would ever let you, <laughs> you could do it and brush them and vacuum up the hair right away. So instead of having to, you know, brush them and then vacuum around all the outside where all the hair is, you could actually use this tool um, to, to brush them directly. So I think that's a really, you know, a really neat feature. So why don't we go and see this Dyson vacuum in action? Okay, so this is a pretty typical scene after breakfast for us in our kitchen. Crumbs on the floor with the two young boys eating. There always seems to be some sort of a mess. So I have the um, hardwood floor and tile um, head on the Dyson right now. And all you need to do um, to start the Dyson is just press the red button on the back. And now our floor is looking much cleaner than it was before. Um, one other feature of the Dyson is that it does have the retractable cord. So when I'm done vacuuming, I can unplug it and just press this and it will wind up inside to really keep the, the clutter and the mess of the vacuum um, contained, which is awesome. Having long hair, we're always battling um, finding my hair all over the place and cleaning it up. So I was very interested to try the uh, tangle free turbine tool to see how well it would pick up my hair off linoleum surfaces and um, if it would get tangled in the brush head. There are no hairs at all. That's amazing. Thanks for joining in to learn more about the DC78 Turbine Head Animal Vacuum. Don't forget to check out the links below for more information and subscribe to the Little Miss Kate YouTube channel so you never miss a video or a review. Until next time.